Hey guys, it's Kim and Takes. Today we're doing another solar system video. This episode we're going over Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and it's actually the planet that we live on. Earth is one of four terrestrial planets in our solar system, along with Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Earth is 93 million miles away from the sun, or 1AU, which stands for Astronomical Unit. It may be near the sun, but it's still very far, so it takes 8 minutes and 19 seconds for the sun's light to reach us here. If the sun just disappeared, we wouldn't know for over 8 minutes. It tilts on its axis, which is an imaginary line that goes through the North Pole and South Pole. So the Earth is actually tilted 23 degrees on its axis. So that's the reason why we have different seasons. The Earth travels around the Sun in its orbit, and different parts of it tilt towards it. Its temperature changes in those regions when they are tilted towards the Sun. It takes 365 days or one year to orbit around the sun. Its orbital speed is 66,000 miles per hour. Earth separates into some layers that are called crust, mantle, and core. The crust is actually the layer that we live on. It even goes to the bottom of the ocean floor. No human has ever been able to dig through the crust. The mantle is made of magma, which can erupt to the crust through volcanoes. The core is the last layer. It actually has an inner and an outer core. The outer core is called the molten core, which surrounds Earth's solid core. It's thousands of degrees Fahrenheit and is made of molten iron and nickel, which sends electric currents. And Earth's inner core is actually solid. It may be thousands of degrees Fahrenheit, but it has so much pressure that it's actually solid. And it's made of solid nickel and iron. With that and the molten core, that makes the Earth like a huge magnet. And that makes Earth one of six planets that have magnetic fields in our solar system, along with Mercury, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus. It has an oval-shaped orbit around our sun. 147.1 million kilometers is its perihelion, and it gets as far as 152.1 million kilometers at aphelion. Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system, so it's the biggest terrestrial planet in the solar system. Its atmosphere is oxygen, but mostly nitrogen, and it has other gases. The atmosphere acts like a blanket of protective gases wrapped all around it. Earth's name means ground, which is an old English or German name. And Earth has spheres like lithosphere, which is the solid part of Earth, and hydrosphere is all the water on Earth, biosphere is all the life on Earth, and the atmosphere is the gases that surround the Earth. Its atmosphere is in layers like trophosphere, ozone layer, stratosphere, mesosphere, mesopause, thermosphere, and exosphere. Earth also has a strong magnetic field surrounding it, and its magnetosphere protects us from radiation and space debris. Earth's age is 4.5 billion years old. Earth takes 24 hours to rotate, and it rotates at a speed of about 1,000 miles per hour. We don't feel a thing because the speed is constant, so we'll all keep moving as long as the Earth doesn't stop spinning. Earth is actually not quite a sphere. It's actually a squished ball, or oblate shape, which is caused by gravity and rapid spinning combined together. Earth's gravitational field is uneven too because of its bumpy surface, so there are places on Earth where the gravity is weaker. Earth has a diameter of 12,742 kilometers. Earth has a density of 5.5 g-cm to the power of 3, which makes Earth the densest planet in the solar system. Earth has a mass of 5.9722 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms. Earth has one moon, which is the moon, which helps control Earth's ocean tides. The moon's diameter is 3,474.8 kilometers. It also has other companions, like some near-Earth asteroids, like 3753 Carinia and 2002 AA29. All three of them orbit the sun about the same amount of time. They can look like they orbit Earth because of their eccentric orbit patterns. The Earth probably had a small second moon, but it probably crashed into our moon. 
If you're looking at a map, you'll notice that Earth has polarized caps at its north and south pole. Its caps are composed in water ice. Earth is one of three planets in our solar system, along with Mars and Venus, to be in the Goldilocks zone. So it's not too hot or cold, but just right. Venus is too hot for human life, but can have microbial organism life, but not human life. If you want to know why, check out my Venus video. And I'm going to have an upcoming Mars video explaining how we can live on Mars with the help of some equipment. Earth has water that we can drink and oceans filled with tons of life. It also has amazing canyons. It also has green valleys and tall mountains along with beautiful tan deserts. Earth contains millions of humans like you and me. There are millions of species of animals and plants on the Earth. And it's the only planet to contain plants and animals. And Earth's tallest mountain is Mauna Kea in Hawaii. And it has auroras, which are the northern lights, which we have seen before which are caused by the sun, solar, and particles hitting the atmosphere. The auroras are similar to the ones on Mars and Mercury. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.